amazingly a question that has never been asked on this channel a, a topic i've never discussed and it's amazing because so many of these videos are about dna test results and the perceptions of ethnicity and race and all this stuff so here's my question and and ultimately this is really this video is just geared towards christians who believe that the bible is real that anyone else who's watching this channel all it's going to do is probably prompt a lot of people to leave comments to talk about how Christianity is wrong and all that stuff. So really, this conversation is going to be lost on a lot of people who watch my channel. But for this specific video, I'm making this for, for Christians who are fascinated by DNA test results like I am. Okay? So, in theory, Jesus, the man from, you know, 2,000 years ago, let's say... We took a DNA test, we got the saliva swab, we sent out the results, what would come back? That's that's my answer, and I think this is very fun. Again, because if you believe the Bible, which I definitely do, then here's what we're dealing with. And, and, and this is one of the, it's funny because for people who are not Christians, they, they can give you all kinds of reasons why they would never be one. But ultimately, this to me is one of the most obvious ones. To be a Christian, means that you believe that Jesus, uh, that his father was the Holy Spirit and that Mary was his mother. Now granted, yes, Jesus did have an earthly father who took care of him, but the DNA was not there. If you're a Christian, you believe that the Holy Spirit and Mary, those are the actual parents. And so therefore, Jesus' brothers and sisters were only half-siblings, like James, that wrote the book James, one of my favorite books in the Bible, Jesus' half-brother, because they did not share the same earthly father. So in theory, Jesus takes a DNA test, and it's basically going to say, like, 95% Jewish, because we do know that, what, one of his great relatives would have been Ruth, who married into the, the Jewish line, she, if I'm not mistaken, Ruth wasn't actually uh, Jewish. She married into it. So because of that, he wasn't 100% Jewish. But specifically and more importantly, if we're really believing uh, that Jesus was divinely conceived, then only half of his DNA would be all that. The, the Jewish and then a the little bit of whatever else was in there, beyond West Asian or whatever showed up. But the other half would have been non-human, spiritual, but some, it's not the thing. It's not that Jesus was half man and half God, 100% man, 100% God. So I've never thought about this until like right now and really sorted this out. Have you got any possible ideas on that, on how you think that would turn out? Jesus takes a DNA test. What would the results come back looking for uh, on that? What would we see? And then again, final disclosure, I recognize that because the majority of people watching this video are not Christians, all I'm really doing is just open up a door for people to trash Christianity and say that I'm an idiot, that I'm immoral, ignorant, uh, and wrong, you know. And to all that, I would say, you're right. If that's what you perceive about me and Christianity, you're right. I, I'm not going to defend myself on that. So I understand in the, in the nature and culture of YouTube Ultimately, this is just fodder for trolls. But for the few of those you watching that actually are interested in what I'm actually saying, for you, I would really want to know what your thoughts are on this question. Comments belong right here.